Hey, welcome to a new video. With an estimated number of more than 100,000 cemeteries worldwide, these places of peace and reflection hold invaluable significance for our society. For centuries, there have been stories and testimonies of ghosts and eerie occurrences said to take place in these locations. Furthermore, cemeteries are also steeped in mysticism and legends. Today we'll show you the 20 creepiest things that have been discovered at cemeteries. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Ghost hunters reported a remarkable phenomenon during their exploration of a haunting 19th century cemetery in West Yorkshire. Pauline Day and her team were astonished when they managed to photograph a ghostly figure hovering above its own grave. The eerie photos were captured by a man named Rob Crabtree from nearby Bradford. He's convinced that the final photo reveals a mysterious mist of a spirit, Sarah Agnes, a 50-year-old woman buried next to her husband James in 1927. While Rob closely examines the gravestone, he had a paranormal sensation as if multiple spirits were lingering in the area. His intuition strongly suggests that the appearance in this photo is indeed Sarah, as the face appears to be that of an adult. Pretty creepy, isn't it? Number 19. In this video, a ghost was observed at Evergreen Cemetery in Jitsona, Arkansas. Some background info is necessary. The cemetery is said to be haunted by the spirit of a young girl who lost her baby in the early 1900s. Her statue stands right at the head of the cemetery. At night every night, her spirit roams, searching for her lost baby. A group of ghost enthusiasts explored the cemetery, and just after midnight, the sound started, crying and moaning. However, they had their drone with them recording everything. There's a moment when the drone encounters one of the gravestones, and we see a mysterious figure in clothing that doesn't look modern. As soon as the ghost is noticed, everyone rushes away. Number 18. Believe it or not, this was the second time a YouTuber named Franco TV visited this cemetery. During this first visit, he saw a strange shadow. He decided to come back for a second investigation, wanting to see if the ghost could be provoked to reveal itself. From the start, he felt uneasy and sensed that something unusual was happening. He also heard what sounded like a music box the last time he was at the cemetery. However, things quickly took a turn, and he felt like he was being watched and heard a specific whistle. Frank wasn't scared of ghosts at that moment. He thought someone could also be sneaking into the cemetery through the only entrance. He persisted and saw more shadows, but couldn't trace them to anything or anyone. But he had the feeling that someone was watching him, and it gets even creepier when the figure in the distance, seemingly well hidden, whistles at him. Number 17. During their Christmas vacation on December 31st, 2008 in Savannah, Georgia, a family from Ohio had an extraordinary encounter. They explored the famous Colonial Park Cemetery, known for its reputation as one of the most haunted cities in America. Their teenage son decided to document their outing with the family video camera, and what they captured on camera was quite chilling. Initially, they thought it was just a child running away, but upon closer inspection, we reportedly see a ghost apparition, and this apparition is a small ghost child who then jumps into a nearby tree and then disappears into thin air. With over 9,000 graves, including a mass grave for victims of yellow fever, Colonial Park Cemetery has a rich history dating back to 1750. The family also noticed a shadowy woman who seemed to be chasing after the ghost child. Can you see it too? Pretty scary, isn't it? Number 16. In September 2018, tragedy struck when two-year-old Fabiola Rodriguez passed away while in the care of her mother's boyfriend. Since then, Fabiola's mother, Sandra, faced the heartbreaking issue of personal belongings and toys being stolen from her daughter's grave, which was the Masonic Cemetery in Las Cruces, New Mexico. With the need for intervention in mind, Sandra contacted cemetery authorities and urged them to be vigilant. Coincidentally, another family had installed a camera at a nearby gravestone. This family had their own concerns, as they believed their son's murderer was still at large and possibly desecrating graves. Hoping to gather evidence to assist the police in their investigation, the family reviewed the footage from their camera. They saw a young girl wandering through the cemetery at night, concerned that a child might be lost on the premises. The family immediately brought the photos to the attention of cemetery officials. The next day, Sandra and her grandmother were shown the photo, and overcome with emotion. They burst into tears when they recognized the little girl in the picture. It was her daughter. The camera at the Masonic Cemetery captured one final image of the young girl walking hand in hand with a tall man. Sandra believes the girl was there to lead and comfort the man, guiding him to heaven. Number 15. Tucked away in the quaint town of Catawissa in Pennsylvania, just south of Bloomsburg, lies the hidden Mount Zion Cemetery, also known as the Hooded Grave Cemetery. This modest-sized place holds a fascinating mystery. Beneath the ground lays two sister-in-laws who tragically passed away in 1852, only days apart. What sets these graves apart is their peculiar sight of heavy iron cages, standing about four feet tall, completely covering their grave markers. There are various theories as to why some graves appear as cages. 
ranging from symbolizing fear of the resurrection of the dead to connections with stories of vampires and those who could disturb the rest of the buried souls. Astonishingly, there's no official explanation for these iron cages in this small Pennsylvania town. What's your theory? Let me know in the comments. Number 14. In this photo, we see a woman dressed as a nun dancing with an art skeleton at the Old Hall General Cemetery in Yorkshire, England. According to the person who took the photo, she playfully interacted with another skeleton that resembled a dog. Several passerbys stopped to watch, and even drivers in their cars stole secretive glances at the nun's unusual behavior. One witness shared that the nun-like figure was located at the cemetery on Springbank West, directly across from Heimer's school. Reporters suggest that the peculiar incident was captured shortly before noon which could indicate the possibility of it being part of a stunt or an art project. However, the true nature and purpose behind this nun-like figure remains shrouded in mystery. Hall General Cemetery, now nearly five decades unused, also holds a significant place in the history of Hall. It's known as one of the city's most cherished landmarks and ultimately closed its gates in 1972. Visitors often come to the cemetery to pay their respects. It's dedicated to the victims of the devastating cholera epidemic of 1849. Number 13. The person standing near the Gettysburg Cemetery was not initially seeking to capture images of ghosts. Instead, they were simply there to take beautiful photos and videos of the trees. However, when they reviewed the video footage later, they realized they had captured a ghost, making movements and repeating every few minutes as if it's trapped in an endless time loop. In case you didn't know, Gettysburg is known as one of the bloodiest battles in American history. Many people believe that when a location has witnessed so much violence and where many people have met their end, it leaves behind a paranormal energy. In 2020, the same phenomenon was captured on camera, with someone driving along the field and capturing an orb of a soldier's spirit on camera. In 1863, the Gettysburg Civil War battle took place, and since then, an estimated 51,000 individuals lost their lives. Do you believe it's possible that we're actually seeing ghosts here, or how else could this be explained? Number 12. In the Erie Cemetery of York, Maine, a chilling tale is intertwined with the mystique of the White Witch of York. According to legend, in 1776, a white witch named Mary found her final resting place within these hollowed grounds. Over the years, numerous reports have been made of her ghostly apparition, as her spectral form continues to wander the cemetery. However, the intrigue deepens, as stories emerged of children playing at a nearby playground, describing encounters with an invisible woman who mysteriously pushes the swings. In this spine-tingling video, we see a grieving man kneeling at a grave, while a ghostly apparition appears behind him. Could this be the benevolent presence of the White Witch herself reaching out from the spirit world to comfort the morning mourner? Number 11. At a colonial area cemetery in West Sydney, paranormal investigators claim to have captured a photograph of a ghostly presence, leading many to believe that the cemetery and its surroundings are haunted. During Halloween, a team of four members from the Sydney Southwest Paranormal Investigators managed to take a picture of an anomaly at St. Bartholomew's Cemetery. The eerie figure was captured near the grave of the famous explorer, William Lawson, as well as other early settlers who found their final resting place here. Kelly Ryan, the lead investigator, revealed that her team had heard faint wailing sounds as they approached the grave, further piquing their curiosity. In an attempt to describe the captured entity, they categorized it as an anomaly. What made the mystery even greater was the story of a local tour guide and historian, Hazel Moggett, who shared her experience near the spot where the photo was taken. She described a persistent feeling of unease and recounted how a group of explorers once told her they encountered a little man who seemed to follow her in that same area. In her research, she suggested that the possibility that the cemetery is inhabited by the spirit of Englishman James Willis, also known as Pen the Jockey. She revealed that Willis's mother, Mary, is buried under the tree where the anomaly was captured. Number 10. Oakwood Cemetery, located in Farmington, Michigan, appears to defy the laws of physics and captivates visitors with its peculiar phenomenon. This intriguing phenomenon occurs on a shallow hill within the cemetery, where an unusual gravitational effect takes place. When vehicles are placed in neutral at the bottom of the hill, they suddenly start rolling uphill. To observe this phenomenon, visitors often choose the farthest entrance of the cemetery and embark on a short downhill journey. The driver in this case demonstrates the phenomenon by putting the car in neutral and taking their foot off the pedals. Initially, as expected, the vehicle begins to roll downhill. This initial movement aligns with the principles of traditional physics and gives no hint of the extraordinary phenomenon that is yet to come. Some people believe that this phenomenon is the result of the paranormal cemetery located near the hill. How do you think the car defies gravity without external forces and rolls uphill without the driver applying the pedals? Let me know in the comments. Number 9. Stephen King might take notes from videos like this one. Armed men enter a cemetery and discover that their target is unfazed by their presence. These men encounter the ghost of a woman resembling the grudge. As we can see, she's sitting on a tombstone, and no one's brave enough to get close. But what happens next is even scarier. 
When she notices the men, she shows that she sees them, and responds menacingly standing on the grave. The men decide to flee immediately, only to find the nearest gates are locked with chains. What follows is a nerve-wracking couple of minutes as the men continue to navigate the cemetery in almost pitch-black darkness, fearing the moment when the woman will reappear. Number 8 If some people are to be believed, vampires walk among us. Witnesses near this cemetery in London described chilling encounters with a mysterious figure dressed in Victorian attire and a top hat. According to tales, he was a medieval nobleman who dabbled in dark arts in Romania. Claimed to be a vampire, he was said to have been transported to England in the 18th century in a coffin. However, it was only when modern-day Satanists disturbed his eternal rest at the cemetery in London that he rose from the realm of the dead. Among those who claim to have seen this eerie apparition is David Farrant, a prominent figure associated with the British Occult Society. David was one of the first to encounter the so-called vampire in 1969. In a letter, he described his sighting of a grey figure near the cemetery. The following year, a headless and charred female body was discovered in close proximity to the cemetery. In August 2005, another witness saw the figure gracefully floating from east to west along Swain's Lane in the cemetery. And in 2012, a man named James Dobbin captured an image during his visit to the historic cemetery. Would you dare to visit this place after hearing these stories? Number 7 Grove Street Cemetery in New London, Ohio was struck by a heart-wrenching crime. A visitor hoping to pay tribute to her beloved parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents was shocked to discover that the cherished memento she placed on their graves had disappeared. This incident unfolded when two audacious women shamelessly pilfered flowers and keepsakes from the headstones, unaware that their actions was being recorded by hidden cameras. As time passed, more and more items mysteriously vanished from the cemetery. Broken-hearted individuals noticed the absence of sentimental objects, such as a flower pot lovingly given to a non-deceased father in 1977. As the number of missing items grew, the community sought the assistance of local law enforcement. However, the hidden cameras revealed the brazen thieves who arrived in their car and stopped at various headstones. As if they were shopping, they unbashedly exited the vehicle and combed the cemetery grounds. These stolen treasures were callously collected and stashed in their car. Once satisfied with their loot, the woman nonchalantly returned to the vehicle and drove away. Thanks to the hidden cameras, their identities were exposed, and they were arrested. Surprisingly, one of them was a well-known and beloved government official. Number 6 No matter who or where you are, even if you're a ghost hunter and you see a ghost, the instinctive reaction is likely to flee. In this video, we see a person wandering through a cemetery when suddenly they catch a glimpse of a man disappearing behind a tree. This happened in broad daylight on a sunny day. When the person saw the figure, they panicked, almost dropping their camera, but decided to run towards the figure only to find nothing. Where did the figure that disappeared behind the tree go? The figure that disappeared behind the tree looked young with her head bowed and dark hair, and in the blink of an eye, she was gone again. It's unclear which location this man was at, but this is possibly yet another piece of evidence that suggests that ghosts in cemeteries might indeed exist. Number 5 whether this is a full-fledged ghostly apparition or a real person, this next incident remains quite eerie and gets creepier by the second. Does anyone remember that episode of The Simpsons where they opened a cemetery right behind their house? And Lisa, scared at night, kept looking at the gravestones from her bedroom window? This seems like a similar scenario. But here we see a young girl dressed in white walking, running, or playing in the cemetery. At one point, the cameraman mentions that she was picking flowers from the graves around. Then she ran around as if it were a playground rather than a resting place for people. However, it's unclear where exactly this took place, but people in the comments are debating whether it was a real ghost or just a girl dressed in white. What do you think? Number 4 Encountering a ghost at a cemetery on live television must be one of the scariest things ever. With the video, the footage could still be edited, but how do you explain this next moment when a ghost literally flies by on television? News anchor Sam Hessler was also startled when she later heard that she wasn't alone at the cemetery. Sam was covering a story about spooky twilight hours being offered at Green Ridge Cemetery in Saratoga County. Keep in mind that this was a live broadcast, so when the viewers tuned in, there was no way the ghost could have been digitally animated. Later, a viewer contacted the Morning News Channel, asking if anyone had seen the orb-like figure. No one noticed it at the time of the filming, but when everyone reviewed the footage later, they believed that it might have been a real ghost. Number 3 In a shocking twist of events, a husband was faced with the unthinkable when the woman he had paid to have murdered showed up at her own funeral. The man had concocted a plan to end the life of his wife of 10 years, Noella. This plan unfolded in early 2015, while Noella had returned to her homestead of Burundi. Their paths had crossed 11 years earlier, shortly after Noella's arrival in Australia from Burundi. 
At the time, the man, a recent refugee from the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Noello were both under the care of the same social worker. The bond deepened, led to love, and they built a life together in Melbourne, where they raised three children. But the hired hitman refused to end Noella's life. Instead, she emerged from that ordeal with a memory card, containing recorded conversations with the man who hired to kill her. At her own funeral, Noella revealed herself to her husband. When she stepped out of the car, he was so shocked that he started screaming. Noella then called the police, and the man was sentenced to nine years in prison. Number two. There are a few things that can give adults the scare of their lives, but at the top of this list is a ghostly young girl calling out for her mother in a cemetery. This incident occurred in 2006 at a cemetery somewhere in Mexico. A reporter from a Mexican television program was fascinated by the supernatural, and although he was quite skeptical and didn't believe in the existence of ghosts, he got the fright of his life during this particular incident. Rumor has it that he even quit his job after seeing this ghost. This would be a nightmare for many people. As he walked into the cemetery, he was confronted in the distance by a ghostly girl crying out for her mama in a terrifying manner. According to the story, it later turned out that there was no one present in the cemetery, leaving these video images as a mystery. Number 1. In a downright terrifying spectacle captured on camera, a ghostly figure was seen effortlessly gliding back and forth along the pathways of the gardens. The captivating footage was shared on the popular Facebook page, The Way I See Liverpool. A mysterious presence appears for about a minute and then completely disappears, and it's given many people the creeps. What makes this situation even spookier is that this is a cemetery where more than 58,000 bodies rest. According to the story, this was just one of the many ghosts or entities that still linger here. The most famous ghost to be found in this cemetery is a sea captain who met a suspicious end. What would your reaction be if you saw a figure like this gliding back and forth in a cemetery? Have you ever been to a cemetery and seen something strange? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.